how do soccer cards kind of differ from other sports such as basketball and baseball? I guess uh, whoever wants yeah. to answer that first can kind of dig right in. All right, hey, I'll go first. I'll go first. I know. Right. <laughs> but uh, soccer cards, basketball cards, it doesn't matter. Everything's going up in sports card world. But recently, I've seen a, a lot of the World Cup prisms and things like this go down in price. But so the main variation, like a lot of differences, is rookie card for soccer card versus basketball card. Mm -hmm. Because there is not, you know, they only really introduced rookie logos since, well, maybe 2016 or something like that. You guys can fact check me, but. Yeah, it, oh, they will. <laughs> you know, because the 2016 Tops Premier League Gold had like a Rashford rookie logo on it. And in a, especially with the rated rookies, that's the first time we've really seen. The soccer cards have a lot of rookie cards. Because not even World Cup Prism or Euro Prism have any rookie logos. And plus, the English Premier League Prism, they have a lot of rookie logos, but a lot of those players are not rookies. Yeah. So you get, you got to be very careful about the rookie card differences. That, that's True. what one of the main differences I would say. Yeah. Steve, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I also feel like in soccer cards... Um, Oh, you're always going to have the hardcore soccer people who are going to preach the stickers. Yeah. And you're going to have the cards. I, I find that uh, people don't necessarily gravitate towards a rookie card so much in soccer as much as they do in other sports. Rookie cards wow. are still in demand. Um, but anything that's like parallels or first prisms, even, yeah. you know, first kits, those tend to be just as popular, if not even more popular than what would be considered to be a rookie card. I don't know if that's based around the confusion of what actually is the rookie card. So people just kind of go for what looks really cool yeah. and, 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 you know, a world cup card as opposed to just a, a standard yeah. card or, you know, a prism over a, um, an optic or a prism over a tops. Yeah. Um, it, well, you know, cause prism has been King in every sport. So yeah. of course it's going to carry yeah. over into soccer because yeah. people are going to go with what they know. Mm -hmm. um, so, I feel like it's not so much people targeting rookie cards as they are just rare and neat looking cards of their favorite players on their favorite okay. teams. Um, you know, it, it, it's like that in other sports as well. You know, the first jerseys have gotten popular in basketball. Yeah. Oh my God. The LeBron um, prism with the Lakers. Yeah, Prisms, yeah. things like that. But I feel like those are even stronger in soccer than they are in the other sports just because the the rookie cards are kind of hard to figure out what is the rookie card and yeah you know, yeah what am i going to buy you know definitely yeah, definitely I and i mean how long panini's had the rights i guess what for since 2014 i guess to to make to make them and the one of the huge things too is like graded right because yeah. not many cards not many soccer cards are really graded um, so there's a huge, huge uh, price bump on like PSA 10, 2014 Messi, right? Mm -hmm. That card would be insanely priced compared to its non-graded raw um, counterpart, basically. Yeah, and real quick to touch on that, um, yeah, go for it. I just sent in a, a huge submission of soccer cards to PSA a couple days ago. And PSA has a registry. Normally, if you type in a card that they've graded once, it, it'll pop up for you. You know, you don't have to complete the listing. And as I was putting in a lot of these soccer cards, they weren't popping up. So, yeah. uh, especially players, yeah. you know, like Harry Kane and um, even some Kevin De Bruyne, Robert Lewandowski. I mean, guys like that, yeah. they just they haven't had a lot of submissions to PSA. So, they're not yeah. constantly popping up in their um, database. So, you know those cards getting those cards on the market right now that that's why i'm rushing my soccer order through but there's just not a lot <laughs> yeah, of graded yeah. soccer out there and you'll find that even psa eights in soccer draw really good premiums wow yeah that's true in addition like from my personal experience i did an sgc submission like a month ago so it had like a leroy sane and all these players and i couldn't look it up in a registry either so. right Interesting. You know I, mean? I also yeah. think a lot of it has to do with um, you have some, you know, you have a lot of overseas fans and a lot of overseas buyers. And I think it's really difficult for someone living in Europe, for instance, to send cards to PSA because it's going to cost yeah. them a lot of money in shipping and exactly. stuff. Exactly. If somebody wants to ship 30 cards to PSA, it's going to cost them a lot of money to ship from, you know, England to California 
Um, yeah. So they're looking to buy these uh, graded cards already graded. Um, and there's just not a lot out there. So the demand is definitely higher than the supply at the moment. Yeah. yeah um, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. The multipliers yeah. on like, even, I mean, PSA tens especially, but yeah, it, it's, it's awesome. What are some of the top tier sets to go after? Because I think that's one thing that a lot of people are, you know, who are new to soccer cards are kind of confused with. Yeah. Um, but what are, if you guys could kind of lay out, the the tier list if you will uh -huh. of of soccer card sets well the thing is me and steve might have a different opinion on this sure you know yeah. what i mean well but, that's the thing too right is it's all going to be subjective but yeah it is just, uh <laughs> yeah but like i i would say all the prism sets obviously of like some of the mm -hmm. king sets but specifically number one would be 2014 world cup number two 2018 world cup prism i would argue the number three is a Don Rust 2018, and number mm -hmm. four is a 2016 Euro Prism. And another one I like is uh, all the tops Chrome, the Champions League, but specifically the 2017. 2017 uh, Champions League? Tops Chrome, because it's tops oh. Chrome. And then 2015 Select, that's a major one as well. So that's somewhere in there. And then 2017 Panini Revolution, I've, I've seen prices mm -hmm. go up and very stabilized as well. I think mm. those are, yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. What about, yeah. What about you, uh, Steve? So pretty much, yeah. I mean, anything that's going to be like a premium type of card, going to have right. some kind of premium finish. Uh, so, you know, of course, the World Cup Prism is hot. You know, it's the first Prism out there. I have noticed where the 18 cards have really taken off, even to the prices yeah. of the 16s. And I believe because it's a World Cup card as opposed to a Euro mm -hmm. card. If you look at the Lewandowski's, they're almost the same price in a 2018 yeah. uh, prism as they are in a 2016 prism. Wow. Uh, and I believe it's because of the appeal of the World Cup. Everybody knows what the World Cup is worldwide, right. where uh, the Euro maybe not be a, might not be as popular, even though I, that would still be his first prism card. Um, yeah. The tops, the, you know, their Bundesliga is exclusive to tops now. So if you're wanting a lot of these young, talented players, uh, a lot of the young guys go through Bundesliga first. It's almost it almost mm -hmm. feels like a developmental system. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other yeah. than other, I, agree, yeah. I mean, you have Bayern Munich, who's a monster. But yeah. I think as a, the league as an entirety, the quality of the teams isn't as competitive. But the top teams are just dominant. You know, where right. in the Premier League you have a bunch of teams that can beat each other any given day. Um, Very true. But a lot of young players go through there. So if you're looking for rookie cards, you can get guys like uh, Sancho and um, uh, Reyna and uh, Erling Haaland. All those guys that are hot right now um, are going to come out of the Bundesliga Tops products. Okay. Um, it Tops did have the Premier League, a you know, back in like 2014, 15. So you can mm -hmm. find some Premier League from Tops when they had the license, but. For some reason, those cards don't draw the value, and I think it's because they're just a base cardboard type card, as opposed yeah, to uh, shiny. Yeah, because you can find Harry Kane yeah. rookies. Harry Kane rookies are like in a 2014-15 tops, yeah. like wow. cardboard type card, but the 2016 prism is the one that everybody wants. <laughs> That's so, a very good yeah. point. That's, and I would say also like a Portuguese league and um, the Netherlands leagues also great developmental programs. Right. But but like additionally, the Steve, what he said, those two leagues cannot find as many like great card products unless they make the Champions League. But the Bundesliga, you have right. all sorts of like tops Chrome. But like he said, there's there's a tops Premier League gold out there like from 2013 and Futera, mm -hmm. but nobody yeah. cares. So it, you have to go with the people actually care. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you're to your point with that, like, uh, yeah, um, one of the young prospects right now, Ja Felix, played in mm -hmm. Portugal yeah. and um, played for Bonfica, or something, I yeah, that's the name of the team, yeah. Um, but they made, yeah. The year that they made the Champions League, so he does have a top scrum rookie card, but he doesn't have a yeah. card in any other set because the, you know, <laughs> none of the card producers produced that league that exactly. he came out of. Exactly. Um, so he only had a card because they happened to make the Champions League. If they didn't make the Champions League, he still wouldn't have had a card for another year or two. Wow. Yeah. So exactly. kind of kind of to yeah. continue with that, what is more popular overall? Is our national are are the national cards, 
you know, with with the national teams on it, more popular than the club cards, that the teams, you know, whenever they're wearing their club kits versus national kits. Um, again, uh -huh. I understand. I realize, you know, that this will be also subjective, but generally, yes, speaking, yes. Generally speaking, what fetches a higher price is is it the national or the club kits? Uh, Steve, if you want to take these, you go ahead, my man. Okay, well, because of the licensing was the way that it was, you're really yeah. not seeing many club kits until now. Um, okay. Yeah, the the 2019-20 Premier League Prism set is the first set that you're going to get guys in their Premier League uh, kits. Um, guys like, um, you know, Mo Salah, who, yeah. you know, is a big star, or in Sadio Mane, since we're talking about yeah. Liverpool. But anyway, those guys are going to have their Liverpool kits in this year's Premier Prism. But every prism card prior to that, like 2018, they're going to be either on Egypt, Senegal, the national teams that they play for, because um, Panini didn't have the rights to release them in their. It, they didn't have the rights to any league, any of the five leagues. So all, going all the way back to 2014 prism, 15, 16 select, 17, 18 select, all everything is all national kits until maybe last year's Nash, last year's optic product. They acquired the license in late 2018 or early 2019 the license to la liga league one bundesliga Serie A, and premier league so that's why those optics cards you're starting to see juventus kits of cristiano ronaldo yeah, yeah. um because an optic was a back end of the year product so you didn't see it. you didn't get a prism product because they didn't yet have the license but towards the end of the year when they're producing optic they had acquired the license and that's when tops had premier league they actually traded tops for the premier league and tops took bundesliga wow that's basically what happened with that okay uh, they yeah. wanted the premier league so when you're looking for a christian Pulisic chelsea card it's going to be yep. a 2019 prism everything prior yeah. to that is going to have him as a tops card with yes with with dortmund or yep. uh as a select uh with the u.s national team mm -hmm. yeah and i want to add it steve's point um Hold on, my, my audio is looking retarded. Oh, your, your audio is good now. Oh, it's good now? Okay. But uh, Steve, he makes excellent licensing oh, points. Now there's an, now there's an echo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. But uh, Steve, Steve, he's got, like, what do you call it? Great licensing points. But I would say right now, all Champions League, the domestic league games are going on currently. Mm -hmm. So so maybe we see a boost in, like, the yeah. English Premier League, things like that. But wait until summer of 2021 when the euro and the olympics and copa america all take place then who knows maybe now the national team kits are extremely relevant like brazil and france mm -hmm. um, um i'm also wondering if yeah if the premier league prism is going to see prism was exclusive to just the premier league so mm -hmm. prism was mm -hmm. made in 2019 2020 but you're not going to see guys like messi ronaldo mbappe neymar yeah. They don't have a 1920 Prism card because it was it was just Premier League. Um, those okay. guys play in other leagues. Yeah. I'm wondering if going forward that Prism is going to stay exclusive to the Premier League or if they're just going to expand to all the leagues. Um, it, I, I'm really not sure. It's and I and I do know the license between Tops and Bundesliga was going to run out. I think in 2020 or 2021, and I wouldn't okay. be surprised if Panini tried to just take it all. Yeah. yeah, it's it's interesting that Panini has the rights to the Premier League, which obviously, as I understand it, is the most prestigious league on the planet. But arguably, and maybe not even arguably, um, Cristiano Ronaldo plays for Juventus, which is in Serie A, obviously, and um, you know Messi is could potentially sign. We're going to talk about that later, but currently he's playing. Yeah. You know, for Barcelona, which is also not in the Premier League, so kind of interesting that they you think they would want the two biggest stars on the planet, uh, and be able to license those products to you know, I'm assuming that would sell more cards, but that's super yeah. duper interesting to me.